I just very disappointed, as you might expect. Very disappointed. Don't what do you think were the factors going into the decision, Terry? Well, it wasn't the, it shouldn't have been the facts of the accident because, as I said, I brought absolutely the truth to the accident. And there's no reason to wander from that, and I still won't. And I brought it for that reason because I wanted to see if justice prevails in those situations. But it becomes character assassination, doesn't it? It becomes things that you thought were long gone in your life that gets brought back, things from 30 years ago and 40 years ago that should be meaningless. One of your lawyers said today it's tough to sue a celebrity. Tell us how tough. The resources that are available to them, and I doubt if they, I got the feeling that they never really knew what was going on. They were so protected, and uh, it's, they're, they're really, this is odd having so many cameras. Yeah. Up. yeah but I'm their sure. entire medical history was basically displayed for the world. Was this worth it? Absolutely not. You know, knowing that now, no. I, I joked about dating sites, right? It's like I'm going to be on the internet forever, right? And uh, <laughs> you might have a reality is. show, Terry. This is a crazy world we live in here. <laughs> I don't need that. Terry, did, did Gwyneth Paltrow touch you as she left? She did. Her, her exact words: "I wish you well." Very kind of her. That's all she said. That's all she said. Okay, and did you respond? I said, thank you, dear. I your, said, thank you, dear. Bob, your lawyer even said, she, you know, she's a good person. She's a good mother. She's not lying. Terry's a good person. He's not a good... So somewhere in there, it's just, at the end of the day, along, he said, she said, there was nowhere anyone could go. Yeah, and, and of course, you get some assumed credibility from being a, a famous person. You know, you, you, people just take... Who wants to take on a celebrity? Really, no wonder I hesitated, right? It's difficult. Who wants to do that? Someone who learns lines and learns learns uh, how to play someone else's part and be believable, be credible, and get awarded for that. Who wants to go down that path? Well, that's that do you think so she was lying and with, in her version? Because Bob said no. I believe she thinks she has the truth. I believe she thinks that. Um, um, but I know. I, I absolutely know. And I said I would not bring any falsehoods. I'm going to tell the truth, and I did. Absolutely. So, so was, she, about was she acting? In this? Was this another role for her? I, I wouldn't know that. Just okay. There, there are ski accidents all the time. People get up, they dust themselves off, they ski out. So why, why, why bring this on this particular case? I've never been hit harder in my life. Ever. 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 I've never been knocked so flat, hit so hard initially, and just pounded. And then I didn't know, of course, after I hit the ground, I was out, but she bounced and bounced off and slid up to the right side. I didn't, this is stuff I didn't know. How long was I unconscious? How would I know that? It's whatever anybody tells me. It's, oh, two minutes, oh, five, oh, ten. I, it's really hard to, to track that truth. And so, yeah, I was all over the place. I didn't know. Everybody talks about it being a beginner run. If you know the run in the midway through, just before it cuts the lucky charm, it's actually quite steep. Do you know what part of the run it was? Because you could, you can get going fast at certain spots. I think it was just, um, well, it, I don't know, have you seen where they put up the big uh, signs that say slow down? They're huge. Great big yeah. signs. Yeah. It was just past those. I just passed those and just leaned back and I was just gliding. Okay. Okay. One more, one more yeah, question. So you, you, you answered questions on the, on the stand that you were cogent. Um, you, you seemed very attentive. How does that jibe with the assertions that your mental capacity is diminished? Yes, I, I just answered a similar question. Uh, the habits that I've gotten into that are just unique, I found workarounds, um, significant workarounds. You've heard about chewing gum and walking at the same time? Well, what if all you could do was think about walking in order to keep from this right leg from going the wrong direction? What if that's what it was? All of a sudden, your walk on trails is different. You're just watching where you're stepping instead of enjoying the beauty of what you're seeing. So there's things that go on hidden that you just adapt to that you don't realize. And the other thing is I've called the walk of shame. You, um, everybody walks up to the fridge, right, and goes, well, why am I here, right? But what if the very next thing you did was another walk of shame? And you go, what's going on? Is that so what you're doing? 
all day long. Not sick, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Never goes away. You don't see that. There's closure in the case. Can you have closure? No. Thank you. It's Will you be able to more It's not going to come this fast. It's just going to take me a while. It took a long time to get here. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your kindness, everybody. Take care, Terry.